training camp has been going for you so far? What has it been like to get out there with a bunch of new guys on offense mm -hmm. next to you? Yeah, it's been um, solid so far. I wouldn't say that I'm anything spe spectacular or anything terrible. It's just kind of, um, you know, day by day trying to take one thing from, from what I learned from the day and and uh, chop it up and call it, a, call it a W for that day, you know? So again, a lot of di uh, new people as well. So everybody's trying different things and um, still same as, as last year. And I've always said taking advantage of every opportunity I get whenever I am in there. How is your approach different this year, having the rookie year and all that experience and, and maybe handling and knowing how to go through a training camp different? Yeah, I don't think the approach is that much different. I think it's, I've always been, um, you know, first of all, when I when I wake up, be thankful that that I um, am able to do what I do, and um, the preparation is the same. Um, making sure that I, I when I come out here, I'm prepared in everything I do. I know, you know, whatever we're running for that day. Making sure that I'm on top of things and not just in one spot, but you know, all three of the, the receiver spots as well. So whenever he throws me in, I'm just ready to uh, make something happen. Oh, he's awesome. He's a, he's a great, great coach, great mentor, great person. Um, he's just somebody who, you know, he's not afraid to, to correct me when I'm wrong, you know, and I and someone who, you know, when I step out there and I, I'm not sure what I did, I'm not sure of my the way I ran my route, if I need it um, corrected, he's not scared to, to sit there and tell me how I should have did it or, um, you know, as far as, you know, looking at the coverage and certain ops and routes and things like that, like where to stem um, off the off the ball, off the line. And, um, you know, he'll really break down every single detail as far as, you know, how the route's supposed to be ran and how, how I'm going to give um, myself the best opportunity to be, get open as well. The season can be so long, especially as a rookie. Was there a moment in the offseason that you took, like, a big look back at how it went, or is that not the way you kind of operate? Um... I mean, it was definitely like a week after season. I was just like, I, I felt like I should be doing something, you know? Like, and then people are like, you, it's good to get away for a bit and uh, take some time off, rest your body up. I mean, my wife limited me to just riding a, the Peloton for a little bit instead of going out there and doing full-on workouts. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's definitely something that you, after a couple of days, you kind of just look back and say, okay, what are the things that, um, I need to do better this off season so that when we get back to it, um, I could take that next step. Is that self-evaluation or is it somebody you went to and said, take a look at my style, or however you mm -hmm. might approach that? I think it, it, it's, mostly, it's mostly self as far as just, um, you know, thinking of how the season went from my perspective. But, you know, my dad over there watches every single game as well and, and um, talking with him and, and my brothers, um, my wife as well, just... Um, my wife is like my, my um, mental coach, you know, just making sure that I stay mentally sharp as well. And what I could have done as far as the approach to this upcoming season that uh, may even give me the up and being a little more mentally sharp as well. So um, it was kind of just a, a, a overview of everything, you know, football, uh, my mental game, uh, my preparation within it all too, just trying to dissect every little thing to, to give myself a, a step up. That's a, that's a close family group. Who's the most critical of the family group? Um, <laughs> Probably my dad, for sure. My dad is not afraid to uh, to to shoot, say some words to me, shoot me a text. Uh, I'm definitely, I know when I'm in the game and something that I should have done better, I'm already knowing I got a text message from him waiting for me. So it's de definitely him. Well, I know you're only going into year two, but do you feel like you've kind of been thrown into kind of a buck roll this season because there's so many new faces in the wide receiver room? I mean, returning guys are, are you, Diggs, and Dave. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know if I would necessarily look at it from like a vet perspective. It's kind of weird to, to even say the word vet. Um, because it's only year two, you know. Um, when I think of vet, you know, obviously I think of Gabe and, and Steph and, and Josh and all those guys who, who've been on the team for a while. But, um, you know, I, the rookies and, and the, the new guys are, are definitely, um, they know that whatever questions they have within the offense, um, run plays, pass plays, that they can come to me and, and I'll definitely have an answer for them. Um, if not, I'll definitely get it for them. So it's as far as just, just making sure that I'm, I'm being there for them when they do have questions and uh, making sure that I help them, um, their preparation as well when they step onto the field. I know you did some returning last year. What, can you refresh us? What's your experience level even before the league in returns, punts, kicks, and, and then how has that, adding that element into camp, been going to this point? Yeah, returning, um, I did, definitely did a little bit of both, kick return and punt return within college. Um, we had um, another punt returner for like my first three years. Um, that was uh, the guy. And then the last year, 
Um, I got some punt return and some kick return reps in there as well. So I'm comfortable. I'm comfortable with it, but I definitely have a lot to learn within the the ins and the ins and outs of being a returner. You know, there's a lot more to it than I ever, I ever even thought before. Um, I used to have conversations with Smiley. You know, so. Um, you know, right foot upon her, left foot upon her, which ways, if it doesn't turn over, which way is it going? If it does turn over, which ways, um, what shoulders are going over? Just a whole bunch of um, the, the little things that can help me when I get out there, make me um, feel a lot, lot more comfortable stepping on there. And obviously here um, with the, the weather as well, um, the wind definitely plays a factor down there, um, up in there uh, when you're when the ball's in the air, it could change the flight of the ball and just make sure that I keep my feet moving within it all. Um, you know, conversations with Smiley um, every other day and definitely catching punts after every single practice to make sure that I'm I'm doing everything the right way. What about Hardy? Obviously, he's had great mm -hmm. success doing mm -hmm. it. I mean, how much do you are you able to, to learn from him? Yeah, I think that was one of the first things I actually might have even talked to him about was just picking his brain on the on the return game um, after one of the, the very first practice or something like that or the very first time we caught punts during OTAs. Um, I just would kind of ask him, like, Where, where's your head at when you're back there, you know? And he broke it down for me on what he's thinking um, and uh, would then asked me and then uh, kind of we kind of compared the two and what I can do to, to be better when I'm out there, so. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's definitely... Um, I, I forgot I was who I was talking to the other day. I would just say the word comfort or comfortable. It's just, it feels weird saying that word. I would never say uh, that I feel comfortable. I guess I would say, um, I mean, it feels like we were just here. With the first day we got here, I was like, I could have sworn we were just here like last week. So the it's definitely, time is definitely flying. And I'm, I'm definitely with um, familiar with a lot of the things that we're doing this year. Um, you know, it being my second time here, I'm um, kind of knowing how things work, how camp works down here. Um, so I would say, I mean, it's it's definitely, a, I guess, a little easier the second time around than um, than the first time for sure.